Our 11 Investigates team received a tip about a story we've been working on for more than a month. Hunt Club Apartments in Sylvania caught fire last July, and a woman claims she can't get her things out and her apartment isn't damaged. Investigative reporter Kaylee Marantet is in studio for us tonight. And Kaylee, this story hasn't been that easy to clear up, so tell us what happened. Melissa, it's been a lot of back and forth calling departments, offices, attorneys, you name it, I've called them. Unfortunately, this might not be something we can find a solution to, but it's a story we had to share with you. You want some water? Melody Metz yeah. lives with her dog, Sugar, but there's something she's living without. We had a bunch of boxes and stuff that we needed to go through, like pictures and her knickknacks. Her deceased mother's belongings. I only lived there for about three months and then had the fire. That fire happened July 15th of last year at Hunt Club Apartments. So I went down out the door and I look up and I, there's black smoke rolling out of the apartment two down from me. After an investigation, the state fire marshal deemed the building unstable, leaving Melody to find a new place to live and hoping to get her mother's things out. Then a few weeks later, the apartment agreed to let everyone sign a liability waiver and go back in. We're going to give you each 15 minutes to grab some things. I grabbed, I know my mother, my grandmother's Bible, um, my aunt, my grandmother's antique candy dish was just on top of the fridge. A couple items I knew that I really needed and uh, that was it. But why only 15 minutes? This is where the stories of Melody and the supervisor of the Hunt Club Apartments diverge. I asked the supervisor about the time limit. She said they were there for 15 minutes unlocking apartments, but gave their residents the whole day to move things out. Melody says she did sign that liability agreement in case something happened while she was inside. The supervisor provided me a copy of the contract, except I had to ask some questions. She explained that Melody's first signature was for the typed statement, the liability agreement. Then when Melody left the apartment with her things, they crossed that out, then wrote this by hand. It reads, have received whatever items that could be gotten out of my apartment. The supervisor told me she signed again here, agreeing to the handwritten portion with it dated August 2nd, 2022. Melody told me that handwritten portion was not there before and she would have not agreed to that. I asked the supervisor why it was like this. She explained that they wanted all documentation on one spot and didn't want to lose anything. Right now I'm mad. Yeah, so I want this, you know, resolved. So what now? The building is expected to be demolished. The supervisor told me there's no set date yet, but the building is just too unstable to let anyone in. And that's their decision. The state fire marshal determines if it's stable or not, and then the apartment can decide if they want to let people in or not. In studio, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.